Good afternoon. My name is Elias Magilov and this is news of Kazan Federal University. We live in an era of global and total competition in everything. It is a competition with real people, business and ethnic groups, countries and continents. This trend touched also Russian universities, how to get the level of world universities and by what means it can be done. In an attempt to solve this problem in modern Russia, there are created nine federal universities. The task of the university is to concentrate efforts to improve the quality of science and education potential. In 2010 started the formation of Kazan Federal University headed by Professor PhD and Doctorate Ilshad Gafurov. The practical implementation of Rector's doctoral dissertation became the most successful Russian special economic zone a la Bogavu industrial type. With coming of Ilshad Gafurov, the university administration has major changes in strategy of the development of the oldest university in Russia. International experts have identified the following factors that are necessary to contribute to the achievement level of world-class university. Thus, the concentration of talent, good governance and an abundance of resources are key to the level necessary to achieve world-class university. In 2013, 15 leading Russian universities have become participants to the state experiment, the race for entry into the world's leading universities' rankings. By 2020, at least five Russian universities should enter the top 100 in the world. In the first competition, 12 universities, including Kazan Federal University, got the right to participate in the program of improving the competitiveness of Russia. Kazan Federal University took seriously the task to enter the top 100 world universities. The university is implementing a program for the development of Kazan Federal University 2010 to 2019. Among the priorities of the university is the Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology opened in 2012. We are to point out that the rector of Kazan Federal University, after hearing the parties, made a very wise decision to create not just the Faculty of Medicine, but the Institute of Medicine and Biology. The fact is that now is a process of biologization of medicine. It means that medicine is linked to biology because medicine can develop only on the basis of the fundamental knowledge that is now accumulated in biology. Medicine is a part of the general science called biology. Bias is a life, logos is a doctrine, it is the science of life. The most interesting thing is that the know-how is carried out in Kazan Federal University. Russia doesn't have this in any university. The bottom line is that the team managers who are working in Kazan Federal University were ahead of time when decided to create an institution because in classical universities, even in leading ones, for example, such as Moscow State University and St. Petersburg State University, that are created only medical faculties. In 2012, we opened the institute and in 2013, there appeared the concept of medical science that was developed by Russian Ministry of Health, where it was pointed out the biologization of medicine. Development of the Institute of Fundamental Medicine is rapidly changing infrastructure and, most importantly, changing approaches and technology. For two years we have done a lot with the support of the rector, who believes that we can grow and develop well. We have got an old campus where we are situated and also we opened a new campus laboratory at the Paris Commune Street. Now we have taken another step forward. On the basis of the district hospital number two, translational medicine center started to develop. We have a super modern clinic diagnostic laboratory we are creating a bear bank, but again we do not ahead of time, as the draft loan by medical cell technology is still in the state doom on the statement. Now we are under this bill, under cellular product, create a biobank, it is a store and clean rooms where we can create and make appropriate cellular products. We have equipped ultra-modern campus for a biomedical education with simulation center, where students will be trained and with vivarium, which will contain the clean animals, and phantom class for dentists. Words cannot describe it, it is must be seen. I can say that those who have visited our facilities, all this just came and said, oh, this is a space. You no, it's actually the space, because the bros, there are not so many laboratories not in Russian. So here I can say that Ilshat Ravkatovich and the university administration and the council adopted a very educated decision about the creation of this institution. And now one of the development priorities of four of them is, is biomedicine and pharmaceuticals. It is certainly the fact one of the breakthroughs in science and education throughout the world.
concentration of talents in both researchers and teachers of the international level. And in this context, it is necessary to consider the cooperation of Kazan Federal University with Doctor of Science Rustam Litvinov. He has 14 years of experience in research activities in the Department of Cell Biology University of Pennsylvania, USA. In Kazan Federal University, Rustam Litvinov organizes teaching biochemistry for medical students. Parallel to this, he conducts scientific research in the field of biochemistry of blood coagulation, We study the mechanism, bleed, thrombosis, and blood clotting. Kazan Federal University participated in the program with the aim of improving the competitiveness for entering into the circle of the world's most prestigious universities. He estimates it quite optimistic. During my visits to the Kazan Federal University, I realized that it's a good basis, a good uh, place to promote some, some of our scientific projects. I found that there is uh, some equipment, people, ideas and experience that can be helpful in our common collaboration. That's why we uh, agreed to, to do some common things. My general impression that the Kazan Federal University is uh, guided by people who, who are on the right track. They try to make Kazan Federal University a part of international community. I think Professor Gafurov is a manager, a top manager that understands these main goals and moves straight ahead in this direction. I'm sure this is the right direction and if circumstances remain the same, if uh, financial base remains the same, I think Kazan Federal University has a fairly good chance to become an important member of international scientific community. Commenting on the changes occurring in the university, Rustam Litvinov noticed that the dynamics is very fast. I was excited by, experiment, by experiments and experience that they have in the field of cell biology, especially the studies related to apoptosis and microphagy, uh, which were beyond the scope of my scientific interest bef before I uh, came across them here. And I think we can combine some of our uh, things, some of our ideas that we promote in the University of Pennsylvania uh, together with the Russian scientists who are experienced in apoptosis and microphagy. I think this is one of the directions. Another direction uh, is guided by uh, Dr. Nivzorova, who studied autoantibodies uh, generated in, in some patients with autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases is a very important field and it is related to the field of blood coagulation and thrombosis. We have some problems uh, related to thrombosis which uh, are based on mechanisms, pathogenic mechanisms of autoimmune diseases. I think we'll uh, do some common things to figure out what are the pathogenic mechanisms of heparin-induced thrombocytopenia using uh, antibodies purified from the blood of patients with uh, some autoimmune pathology and this is another field that can be uh, can be uh, called a two-way traffic where we come in both directions. Genyatulin Rashid is doctorate in medicine professor, head of the laboratory of cell biology, Institute of Molecular Studies, University of Eastern Finland. In Kazan Federal University, he is invited to conduct research in the neurobiology of pain. He is a prominent specialist in the study of pain caused by migraine. According to him, Kazan Federal University is becoming more attractive for foreign students. All the time, starting from um, uh, Italian period and Finnish period, I was in close cooperation with one of my best students. Uh, his name is uh, Rustem Hazipov who obtained uh, a big funding at Kazan Federal University. And uh, he was a person who invited me to join this lab, at least temporarily. And after visiting this lab and looking for all these good facilities, which are much better, for instance, than in his own lab in France or even in my lab in Finland, uh, I was very much interested in continuing in here. I would say that there are three uh, formal reasons why uh, I am in here and why maybe other people who are a potential candidate to join this developing area and uh, uh, quickly growing uh, biomedical research at Kazan Federal University. First, it is good funding, not only salaries, but general funding. Second, it is good infrastructure 
and very modern methods which we have in here. And third, we, uh, a person who can support and provide you uh, uh, to support you at first stage your settling in here. Of course, the arrival of world-class specialists catalyzes and accelerates the process of change. Those steps that are taken at the university by the invitation of scientists and establishing laboratories and involving young people, this is the right way which really bear fruit. I appeal to the fact that the rector and the university council made the right decision of creating this structure ahead of time. Look at the strategy of development of medical science and development program of the Ministry of Health in Russia up to 2020. It declared that it is necessary to create centers of excellence in scientific and medical equipment, and in Kazan Federal University we have already created them. These genomic, proteomic, microscopic and cellular and genetic structures and research and educational center pharmacy. Second, that is declared, is creating simulation medicine center everywhere we teach medicine. They are created by the small. We have created and most importantly we merged with a large republic firm producing simulators. We discovered not just a simulation center on our database we practice new stimulations for both students and physicians. We go at least a half step but going in the right direction. Because everything that we do after a while there is a declaration that in this direction we need to develop. Meet Rostem Hazip, a leading scientist researcher, director of the Academy of Medical Sciences of France. He has his own laboratory in the Mediterranean Institute of Neurobiology in Marseilles. His name is associated with opening up a whole new field of research in Kazan Federal University within neurobiology. In Kazan University, Rostem Hazip is since 2011 since won mega grants for research in conjunction with the head of the Department Human and Animal Physiology of the Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology of Kazan Federal University. During three past years we have created quite nice uh, laboratory, I hope, uh, in which we have uh, first-class equipment to conduct uh, neurophysiological investigations. We uh, perform our research uh, using uh, simplified systems such as uh, sli slices of brain in vitro uh, and uh, by doing in vivo explorations of the electrical activity in the developing brain. So the, the main goal of our research is to understand how during development brain develops how neurons establish specific synaptic connections to produce our functional thinking brain. As models we use uh, animals mainly, but in parallel we also do some research in uh, premature neonatal humans in order to translate our studies which are performed in uh, animal to human. Uh, for the moment, we have uh, six uh, experimental setups. Uh, we have employed uh, seven PhD students, but there is a room for more students. And if you, uh, there is someone who would be interested in joining our lab, we would be very, more than happy. Uh, we produce uh, papers in um, very best journals in the field. Obviously, the creation of the necessary infrastructure conditions was not easy, nothing that the laboratory located in the main building of the university, which is a historical monument. So, uh, government of Russian Federation and uh, Kazan University uh, strongly support this direction of research by investing funds into equipment, uh, which, uh, which is uh, equivalent to what you will find in the best labs all, all over the world. And uh, also there is a considerable funding for uh, supp uh, human support for, uh, for salaries and for consumables of the lab. Um, and uh, so basically you, here you will find the same and uh, perhaps even better structure for uh, conducting research than in some other places in the world. In early May, the Center of Medical Sciences of Kazan Federal University was visited by the Russian Minister of Health Veronika Skvartsova. This is a unique object in the whole of Russia, where in partnership serves the country's only manufacturer of surgical simulators, all directions from ADOS and the country's leading institution, Kazan Federal University. The Institute of Fundamental Medicine is developing very actively. It already has successes in established preclinical innovation centers that is very important for the country's priorities. This cell tissue technology and neurobiology, this nuclear medicine are numbers of other important areas. And here, at the intersection of science, medical engineering and technology was created a wonderful center. It is the only in our country at this level. 
What we have seen today does honor to any university center. We saw today late education environment that uses the technologies that are turned out the first steps of receiving the patient to the most sophisticated high-tech surgery. All simulators are very realistic and in physiological details to reproduce diagnostic equipment, vital signs and reactions to drugs. The scientific and technical masterpieces are local production. In their creation are involved 50 companies, mainly from the Republic of Tatarstan. Corporate high-tech of the company is a hybrid operating room. This simulator for testing a full medical team action, anesthesiologists operating and assisting surgeons, nurses and resuscitation. Course of the operation can be practiced on the simulator as the entire team as well as individually. In the center of medical science are models which are then charged tutorials. These robust patients breathe, they have blood flow and sometimes they feel bad. There is also a real gym for training future physicians action in standard and emergency situations. It is equipped with all necessary simulators and the situation is risk closer to reality. For example, one simulator includes a wrecked car with a robot of victims and the ambulance car. Modern organized center, it is the level at which should be oriented all schools that prepare physicians and scientists and doctors. It is very important not only to use modern equipment, but also the development and its production and even export to developed countries. It is very symbolic that we are exporters of contemporary hybrid equipment is in the direction. Concentration of talents and good governance are the two key factors of the world-class university. In Kazan, Federal University is not only understood, but also purposefully worked, at least in the priority area of the university, by a medicine and pharmaceutical, the case is done in this way. While students hike up tails and prepare for tests, life in Kazan Federal University doesn't stop for a minute. We offer you a brief overview of the most interesting events. My name is Olga Danilova. Let's start! In the next 10-15 years, a quarter of all universities of all the world will be forced to close, and the reason is global competition. How not to get lost among the world's leaders and, most importantly, how to approach them, told the founder of the company Karkardi, Kevin Dancer, to the heads of the main structural units of Kazan Federal University. Eminent scientist compares heat in the global ranking with a percular game. Therefore, to gain a foothold in the high position, the university is obliged to know the rules of the game. Kevin Dancer contests problem of Russian universities that no one knows about them. For example, he used to know very little about Kazan Federal University and was just amazed by its rich history and traditions after visiting its museum. Besides about tradition, May 9th in Russia is the Victory Day. In Kazan Federal University we treat this holiday with trepidation. Every year in the university we honor veterans. Special for them there were gala concerts, bunch of flowers and many words of gratitude for the peaceful sky above. It's a very important holiday for us, for the whole of Russia. Our grandfathers fought, our forefathers fought. We should not forget this holiday. It should always be remembered. It should always be discussed. Japanese company Subiu Inc. can be called the winners, but in the field of bioinformatics. This company has long been engaged in the introduction of computer technology in science, and its president, Dr. Eiko Tanabe, encouraged Kazan Federal University to do this. According to him, the modern biology and bioinformatics need more interaction, and the Japanese scientist offers its largest development as a solution. Other companies are invested by other people, because, but we are self-funded and self-organized. That's why we don't need to make so much money, just we need our money to, we can live on. That's why we can, most part us, most software for free, and that chargeable part is only very cheap. How to learn foreign language effectively to achieve the level of spoken language? This issue was discussed at a round table between Kazan University and Language Center of Leipzig. The current generation clearly understands the necessity of studying a foreign language in a globalized world. In this regard, the management of Kazan Federal University, together with representatives of the Leipzig University, thinks of the need to strengthen training of students studying languages. It is very important to understand the growing role of foreign languages, because science of the modern world is developed in the context of globalization. We all understand that solving problems need people who speak foreign languages. Therefore, in the universities we should prepare the appropriate specialists. What were then? Finding answers on these three simple questions had long been the popular TV game in Russia. 
But players are measured by knowledge not only on the other side of the screen, but also on this. For example, just a week ago, in the Kazan, the Open Championship among universities on intellectual game What, Where, When was completed. And the team of Kazan Theodore University was triumphant. So what is the secret of their success? We have practiced hard and long before the game, but that's not all. First of all, the team spirit helped us, the ability to play together and connection of the team. This was news of Kazan Federal University. Bye-bye.